Okay, welcome everyone, uh, Dr. Ibrahim Jaffe. We're talking about how we're gonna make the world a better place today. Uh, you know, the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, spoke often about, you know, obligations of, you know, our obligation to community. And this is something I find really interesting. Like, if we really are one people in spirit, then we have an obligation to help whoever we find because they're really our brothers and sisters. So that, that's an interesting change in philosophy. In other words, rather than coming from competition, rather than coming from being special or for who's better, and I know we all hear those voices at times, especially today, but if we change it and we look at how we can serve people, you know, how we can be at their feet, how we can help people, that changes everything. And that's kind of how I go with my life. I kind of think about everybody as my brother, everybody as my sister. And if I'm meeting them, how can I give to them? And the greatest thing I can give to people is love. You know, can I really give them love no matter what they're doing? Can I hold the love for them? And I said we have to be love lights because truthfully there's not enough love on the planet. You know, and if we really want to make the world better, one of the ways we can do that is by giving the love. So learning to give the love to people is, I think, the first critical thing in making a difference. But even before that is something else, which is giving the love to ourselves. Because if we can't love ourselves, we really can't love others. And the place that love starts is actually in your relationship to God. When you're in the right relationship of your heart to God and God to your heart, love flows down from the divine inside your heart and fills you up. Then you have love to give, and it's pure love, it's clean love, and it comes out of you in the right way. It's not tinged with other things. So learning to have that relationship, I bet you didn't know that actually love is God. So when people fall in love, for example, really what's happened is the light of God has put love in your heart and the person you're falling in love with is the person God's chosen for you. If it's real love, it came from God. If it's not real love, you know, if it's lust or something, that can come from yourself. But if it's real love, it came from God. So when people really fall in love with each other, really what it is is the love of God has been put in one heart and the love of God is put in the other heart. And those two loves come together and they reach oneness. And that's the beauty of love. It's actually God seeking itself deep inside people's hearts. So how do we do this? We learn to sit with the law, to sit with God, to breathe the love into our hearts, to open our hearts and to accept that love deep inside and not to be afraid of it, to really bow our hearts to that love, to accept the depth of that love, and to let that love be the cauldron of transformation within us. That love will change each of us. So don't be afraid of love. Let it really turn you into something new. It'll cook you. It'll make you into a nice, tender morsel. And somebody will come along and want to eat you. And of course, hopefully, the best one will be God. God will come and eat you. And you'll have your fana, you'll disappear, and reach the unity, the oneness, enlightenment. And that's, of course, the best place we want to disappear into. That's a Sufi metaphor. You hear that a lot. You know, become that tender morsel. Let God consume you. But you know, in today's world, a lot of people, you know, think about being eaten by people, being consumed and dominated by people, and they misunderstand that, and they put it into a dominant situation. And that's absolutely not what I'm talking about. We don't want to give ourselves away. You know, we don't want to be give ourselves away to somebody's ego or to someone's power issues, be consumed by them, and then we're become left with just shells inside of ourselves, having been eaten by other people. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when our hearts have been cooked and the hearts become so soft and so open and so full of love that when the real lover comes, the real beloved, which could be God, but it could also be somebody who has understood love, when they see that love in you, they are going to want to merge with you. And so the consuming we're talking about is that they're taking you inside of them and you are taking them inside of you. And you're becoming, you know, one body, one heart, one soul, one secret, one spirit. That's the cons consummation I'm talking about in the love. Can we say consummation of the fire of love? That's the real beauty. Now, of course, in time, 
when you cook yourself enough and your heart becomes tender and pure, God will then come itself and God will sort of take you into itself, pull you into the bubble of truth. And there's what we call a consumption by God itself. No, it's not ultimate consumption. Of course, you exist, everything else. But in a certain deep way, you merge into the ocean of divine truth and the divine truth merges into you. And that's what consumption means, this merging together. That merging leads to the world of unity and it leads to the world of love. And it leads to peace inside yourself. And when you have it, you will feel the most profound peace and beauty and everything in your life and you're in the deep way will always be moving from such love, uh, such purity that it gives you a very special form of life. And this is what we call the world of unity is living in that unconditional state of oneness most of the time in your life. So please join us on this journey and uh, learn to accept the love. And I think that's the way we change this world is step by step uh, learning to love each other being kind to each other, not being judgmental, learning to have humor, have fun, and learning that life is a, a very joyful journey. And did you know that God actually has a sense of humor? It's very funny, but God has an amazing sense of humor. So don't forget that, everybody. Enjoy yourself.